All right, friends, we're, uh, the wind just picked up. Uh, well, we got a good sized machine here to help us with this here. You'll see it rocking and rolling. It's a big, dirty cottonwood and it's robbing their, uh, it's robbing their sun in their field and in their pool. They got a swimming pool. And as you can see, we're in a nice little stand of second growth fir here out in Yellow Point. It's just, as you can see, there's nice spread on the trees. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, it's a really nice little forest in through here. And this cottonwood's just, ah, it's kind of just standing in the wrong place. I mean, here, look at its roots. Look at this. Look at this. These roots. They go, look at, still going, still going, still going, still going. There's another one right there, cottonwood root right here. Look at, right there. And if you look up, <laughs> we're a little ways away past the drip line, friends. <laughs> they just keep going, cottonwoods like that. We're 35 feet away from the freaking tree, okay? So anyway, what I'm gonna do is clear the stump we got an excavator here. I got a little camera out in the field. I'm going to see if we can get it uh, coming down through the field. But I just need to clear the stump. So I'll just do that now. We got a big dirty cock out here. I'm just going to clear some of these limbs out of here. Good morning, friends. This is a nice young guy that, uh, of course, I've worked with for years. He used to work for a large company, big contracting company. Look at that big cedar tree. It's called Falling, an old growth cedar tree. It's I'm beside a pipeline. It's years ago, me and the skinny kid. He was on that job with us, so we've done lots with him. This power saw is acting up. I made chain for it. I make my own chain. I don't know if I, you guys knew that, but I, I, I punch out my own chains and uh, we have an issue with this chain on this saw, so I end up at going back to the truck and grabbing the back. Okay. okay, so what we're gonna do, as you guys can see, I got Rob here. He's gonna get up against there. Look at it, it's roaring, it's roaring wind out. I'm just gonna get him to I'm getting him to put his track straight on. Don't ever have a guy push a tree with his with his track sideways. Don't do it. If he runs out of stick, you're done. It'll break off and go sideways. I got him straight on now. Okay. We're gonna cut this thing up. I'll put you guys in here to watch the undercut, then I'll bring you back around the outside. Okay, Rob, I'll just put an undercut in it, then I'll bring the stuff around the back. Yeah, so I notice it right away. Something's not right. The chain's pulling to one side, and uh, I realize later what it is. So I'm just going to get on it. I'll notice it really right here on the undercut.
Let's have a look at that. <laughs> so, friends, you guys get that? It just it was missed about five it. feet away. From Did it? How you yeah. doing, sweetheart? Good. Good. What's your name? Eislin. 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 That is a pretty name for a pretty young lady. You're going to be on YouTube if that's okay. Yeah. See, I already told her. <laughs> so, I put that camera two feet from the tree, friends. Look at the spread on the crown. That is easily. Well, look at the, look at the pole. Like, look at its stem. Its stem is like, whatever, right there. Look at the spread on this freaking crown. And look at how nice and clean we are up there now. They're going to have a nice shot of sun. Anyway, we got another little fur to take. We'll just take it here. Thank you, darling. Just made like a goat. Boom. It, did you feel the wind no, from back so, there? Yeah. Yeah, I know. So, perfect. You see up where the wheelbarrow is? Yeah. Cool. There was another one we took down a few years ago. Oh, okay. uh, my, my 266, something's wrong. The the uh, It was diving. Like it, it wouldn't cut. Did you guys notice that? Something was wrong. I don't know whether it's the chain. Because I did... I did put that chain together the other day. It was literally diving. I'm barely, I'm surprised I got the undercut in it. But as soon as I put the back head in, I said, no, no way. I can't make it. It was a big tree. And then I ended up walking around with a freaking, uh, the, uh, the Mac and it was nowhere near. I was way below where I needed to be <laughs> a messy stump friends. <laughs> bang on like bang on so anyway here's this fur we got to get this fur too let's uh let's see if we can't let's see if we can't judge this one too okay now Eislin 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 Okay, Aislinn, where's that fir tree going? Take a look at that fir tree and you tell us where you think that sucker's going. I tell you right Friends, now. let's give this young lady a big hello. She was so excited to be part of the video and, and be on YouTube and give us a hand cutting this tree down. Aislinn, thank you so much for all your help. You were a big help putting that camera down there and letting me know where to put it. So we appreciate we you. Go. If you're looking for full-time employment, we got a position oh, for you. <laughs> Just kidding you. Friends, give her a big hello. Right here? Somewhere right here. Okay, and how tall do you think it is? Where should we put this camera so we don't break it? And if I break the camera, it's on you. Um, Eastland! Right here, because it was a little shorter than the, um, than the cottonwood, but I think maybe... That fur up there. Get it you see the one we're taking? Yeah. Yeah, that one. Okay, so you yeah. think it's a little shorter than the cottonwood? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I agree with... So maybe a little bit farther, just so you can get a visual of it coming down that's a good idea you're quite a particular young lady aren't you you think you're smart alec do you yeah. no didn't think so but smart yes okay good now uh i am going to put this one a little closer aislin's right let's do it you guys make sure you give aislin a hard time when you see her on here you give her a hoot okay <laughs> good you better watch a video now they're gonna talk though trust me there'll be three hundred thousand people aislin aislin on YouTube. Oh yeah, big time. Okay, so let's do this. Let's just go for it. This camera's old. Let's put you guys right freaking here. Why not? What do you guys think? Let's do this. Let's see. To me, it looks like it's, it's that sucker, right? Okay, so it's that one. Okay, friends, so here's the other fur. There's their beautiful deck. I'll take you guys over there in a minute. So here's this. It, it's lean, it's got all the bones on, it's pulling out hard. It'll fight me a little bit, the wind, but not a ton. So let's just put you guys here and uh, you guys can watch out there at that camera. So you should be able to see my stump. So you'll see me right there. You see, I might mean, even put you guys, yeah, let's do that. Let's back you guys out a bit like this. So I'm in here on that one and we're shooting for like right there. The camera's right there out there. So let's go for it.
I want to talk about this real quick. So I know this tree's leaning, so I know it's going to go. So I stop right here. I take a look to see how much wood I got. So I know, you know, without having to go over there again, I just start cutting, right? So here we go. Friends. Let's go take a look what we got. Aislin, you better be praying that camera's not broken. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Look at Aislin, she's freaking. <laughs> I did, didn't I? <laughs> look at this, friends. Okay. Well, I'll be darned. Hey? No, I think that's uh, this is what we want. And you know what's actually interesting, Pops? Uh, even with the wind blowing, you leave up. That's why I stuck. You saw it come, right? Yeah, and then yeah. I stopped oh, yeah. cutting. Yeah. Because I wanted to go around and see how much wood I had left. Yeah. Because if I had left all that wood and just let it go slower, it would have ended up over there more because of all that holding wood. Yeah. So I just wanted to see where it was on a final cut. There's maybe two inches on the stump, friends. Do you guys know what I'm saying about that? It's all about the holding wood. How much you, you, you see me and a guy steering trees on, on the internet. It's, it's a thing. You can do that. But that's why I took that last check. It'll be on the GoPro. You'll see I, I stopped. I seen it going. It, the curve was lifting. But I stopped because I needed to go over and take one last look to see what I needed to whop, 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 give one last blast on. And, and it, it couldn't have come. Like, it was dead on. Like, I mean dead on. Like a dart. Look at this. Right dead square in line with the camera so yeah so that's about yeah and the rains are just starting hey son hey son okay hey son say goodbye to everybody bye all right okay friends thanks for watching that's funny these are old friends of mine from way back i used to do a lot of commercial work in town uh lots and he used to work for a big commercial company in town i worked for them for oh gosh i think the career the the marriage went on for at least 15 years and i went to like places you wouldn't even have want to like crazy places for that company and uh rob was there there's a, a shot of me falling an old growth tree an old growth cedar tree and there's a pipeline a water line right behind me it's a six foot uh four to five foot uh line i think it was it was a big tube it was a water project uh run of the river they called it but that was that six foot uh that big cedar that i cut down rob was right he walked up past it in the, in the video actually so I'm just taking this off the iPad, friends. This was the tree. And here comes Rob walking up the pipeline. This is a six-foot cedar on a, on a run the river project. It's, it, there he is right there. That's Rob there. So I've worked with him for years. This is a long time ago, this one. We go back a long time. Known for a long time. Yeah. So that, that came out real nice. Real nice pops. Mm -hmm. We did. We both came out quite nice. I, I'm freaking. I'm freaking, actually. Freaking, freaking. Um, that's, my eight, eight, that's my 81 right there. Um, I got to be honest. Uh, I, I, I'm kind of spitting my words because, friends, I don't know. I don't know anything about the saw. I know that I bought it and that I did not personally get it ported. It came to me stock, this saw, I don't know. I, you know, have, I've come across so many, I, I just, but it, it hangs on the rope. This is that one that hangs on the rope. I've got written on it, no decomp, um, nuts. I wrote nuts on it actually, yeah. Cause I thought the saw would be nuts. Well, I was correct, it is, it's nuts. So I'm gonna put some more fuel in it, some oil. With these saws, friends, they usually leak fuel. So put your bar oil in them first. 
If you put your bar oil in them first, then when you when you gas up, you're not. You know what I mean by that, friends? Because if you if you do your your bar oil first, you don't have to tip the saw on its side, and uh, and leak gas out of the top, and it goes down and it gets the the uh, the air cleaner wet, and you flood yourself. Ever done that with a Mac? I'll bet you have. And and what I want to do now is I want to go over into some of this smaller wood and stand up and buck. Friends, you'll notice I get down when I buck the bigger logs. It allows you to get your dogs in. And when, when, you're, when, you, when you've got a lot of wood on the bottom of the ground, do you know what I'm saying by that? Like the bigger the wood is, the more you have touching the ground. You have to really watch your tip. But if you go down flat, your bar and you, and you, you know what I'm saying, friends? You can actually use your, your power saw and get it flat like that. And that's why we do that on the bigger logs. I, I, I stand up on buck over and stuff like this and I'll show you what I mean with this saw now. So because I promote stand, long bars and standing up and buck, that's not the only reason I, 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 I promote long bars. There's a bunch of reasons. It's about five times as safe, to be honest with you, than it is running a short bar. Short bars kick back five times as hard and what happens when you're kicking back with a short bar? Nine times out of 10, you're down in it like this. It's right there, it's only 16 or 18 or 20 inches. Well, with a long bar, you're standing up like this or you're in a log somewhere and it kicks back way over there. It's gonna fling and go over like this. Not straight in your face, so they're way safer. Another thing they're way better at, friends, when you're in a pre precarious situation and you're out in the woods cutting something and it's hung up or something, friends, you can literally, you can be six feet from it. Three and a half on the, on the bar or three foot on the bar. Another couple feet, three feet, maybe on your arms. You can literally be about six feet from your work. It's so safe. It's much safer. So anyways, I want to, I want to get into this next log here and uh, let's do it. So friends, this is what I mean in big wood. I don't stand up and buck in a lot of this bigger stuff, and I'll show you why. Because when, here, let's, let's fire up. Well, actually, no, I don't wanna fire up. Look at, this is what I mean. You can put your power head, you get all this sawdust out when you're bucking. You see this? You can literally put your power head in the log and have it straight on the straight on the log with your tip out the other side. You see? So I'll show you what I mean.
Friends, I dug out this 850. It's the one that just hangs off the rope forever. I don't know where I got it, when I got it, but this saw is one of the best 850s stock I've ever run. As far as I know, it's stock. So the, this job that I'm on here is a different one. It's coming up. Um, you're gonna enjoy this. This this saw is gonna be on display. Well, I think, were you guys on the live feed? Did you check out the live feed? You, right there? Yeah, you, talking to you. You see that profile right there? You see that? See this profile right here? Skinnier, right? Um, I think this is the one of my best axes I own now. Remember the one that I broke it and then I re rehung it? Uh -huh. I've had a heck of a day. I hope you're doing well. 